Hello, my name is Larissa and on this video I will show you how to use and manage our new feature called Listing Template. So the first thing is to click here on the left on Content and Listings. Now here on the top of your screen click on Listing Templates. Here on this page, you can see all the current listing templates you have on your system. To add a new one, you can click on the right, add a listing template. The first step is to add a listing template title. It's important to add an easy title that your customers will understand. So mine will be restaurant. The next step is to select the categories. Um, the categories are very important. In this case, by standard, they come all included. So if you have um, in a specific team, if you want to add a specific category, you can click on browse and just select the category that fits your team the most. On my case, it will be food and dining. If none of the categories I have relates to my theme, I can click on create category and create a new one and then link it to my new listing template. The next step is pricing options. If I click here, you can change the listing template for free. So no additional costs will be charged from your customer. If you add a price here, for example, $10, to choose this listing template for, your, for the listing, your client will have to pay extra $10. Um, it's important to remind you that all listings has to be on a certain listing template. So they have to be on a listing template. There's no way to create a listing without creating it related to a listing template. Now the next step is to select the layout of your listing. We have 11 cards available. These are the cards that will show the layout on the results page. So if someone is searching for restaurants, this will be the layouts of the listings on my template restaurant. It's important to see your subject and your team. For example, if I'm working with doctors, for me it's more important to have a profile design like this, like this or like this. It shows the number, the email account and like information related to a profile. If I'm working with establishments, with commerces or stores, it's important for me to use establishment design. For example, this one, it has the address, reviews, it has more of like establishment look. So for my listing, I will be using this layout. Now the next step is to select the layout for the listing detail page. Um, the widgets used are the same as the previous version, but now we have the sidebar widgets. They are not mandatory, you can delete them anytime, but it's a new way of adding new options to your design. You can move them around the way you want. And now you can also add different tabs for different contents you want to show and separate. You can also drag the tabs around and separate your content by photos, reviews, deals. You can add the widgets any way you want and create any designs you want. On this video, I showed you how to use our new feature, the listing template. If you still have any questions, please click on the link on our description to contact our support team. Also, make sure to watch our next videos to be updated on our new features coming up. On the next video, I will show you how to manage the new widgets on the listing template. Thank you for your time today and I will see you on the next video.